it's Lee and today I'm back with another low carb recipe. Today I'm going to be making Lynn's favorite meatloaf. This is not my recipe so I won't be giving exact measurements but I will put the link in the description box below to the original recipe so you can go there and check it out. We're going to start off with ground beef, a can of tomato sauce, some garlic and a chopped up or finely diced up piece of bacon. Hold on. <laughs> it's really difficult to um, dice up bacon. If you have any suggestions for that, leave it in the comment section below. Next we have parsley, black pepper, onion powder, and because I didn't have enough garlic, I didn't have all that was called for in the recipe, I added a little bit of garlic powder in there too. The recipe calls for salt, but I'm leaving that out because you also add three tablespoons of soy sauce. This is reduced sodium soy sauce, but it's probably got enough in it. Two eggs. and Parmesan cheese, which is also salty. Then you just get your hands in there and mix it together. This is not my favorite thing in the world to do, but get in there and squish it all up. I do have gloves, but I didn't think about that before I stuck my hands in here. Now that it's all mixed together, I'm going to put it in the loaf pan. Flatten it out. Now just pop it in the oven at 350 for an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Insert a thermometer into the center and make sure it reads at least 160, then you'll know it's done. So here's the meatloaf right out of the oven. Zoom you in a little bit. It actually took an hour and 20 minutes for this. So the next thing I'm going to do is attempt to get it out of this pan and onto this platter without breaking it to bits. Then I'm going to let it cool for a little while before I cut it. So I'll be back when I'm ready to cut into it. Here is the meatloaf all cooled off. I'm going to cut it and put it on the plate. So here you have it. This is Lynn's favorite low carb meatloaf. I know my husband and son are going to love it. If you try it, take a picture and post it on Instagram tagging me so I can see it. The link to my Instagram account will be in the description box below. So if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.